and welcome back to Devon Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name is Nicole Reed, and today I'm going to show you how to take some of your scraps, fussy cut them, and turn them into these cute little fridge magnets. So let's get started. So you're going to need a self-covering button, either a flat back or a shank one. You can see here this is a shank one and I will show you how to remove that shank in just a moment. You're going to need some sort of ceramic craft magnet will be fine. You're going to need some fabric out of your scrap bin, some scrap uh, fusible fleece. Um, if you don't have any scrap fabric that's fine just grab whatever takes your fancy i'm actually going to do a little bit of fussy cutting with this one you're going to need a pair of scissors you're also going to need a pen to mark the circle you're going to need a piece of template plastic to create your circle and you want that circle to be about three times the size of your self covering button and you're going to need a couple of tools either out of your um husband's toolbox or out of your own you're going to the best ones to use are the side cutters and some pointy nose pliers alrighty so first things first is we're going to um, remove the shank okay from the back of the button now if you've got flat back ones um, you don't need to do this step this is only for if you've got it to remove a, a shank out of the back of the button so the first thing I do is I just bend these up as straight as I can and it can be a little bit tricky but with the pointy nose pliers it's nice and easy sometimes you can just pull them straight out from that just like this other times you might have to wiggle them a little bit now if you do have to wiggle them a little bit to get it out you will need to um, probably just weaken it a little bit with your side cutters that's why I have the side cutters here because it doesn't matter what button that I do everyone is a little bit different so if you've got them on hand you can just um, give that a squeeze in the same spot a couple of times and that will um, help with manipulating that out all right so now that we've done that plug in your hot glue gun and we're going to trace out a couple of circles grab your fabric and you are actually going to grab your little circle and if you're fussy cutting then you can place your little circle where you need to just like so and then you just grab your friction pen or your choco marker or whatever you're using you can grab that and you can mark it around so you can see here that we've got a little bit of the selvage here this is a really good place that we can um, make a circle because that little bit of selvage actually gets tucked into the behind the back of the button so we won't have to worry about that that is going to show so all I'm going to do now is actually make a circle around the edge of my template on my fabric and also on my fusible fleece and then we can cut those out and fuse those together and they don't have to be perfect because this all gets tucked into the back of the button and you won't even see it so just cut around on that circle don't stress too much if it's not perfectly straight now I'm just going to head over to the ironing board and I'm going to fuse this down okay so we've fused our little piece of uh, fusible fleece to our round piece of fabric and now all we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around our self covering button okay so we've got this little tool that came with our pack of buttons and I'll link up everything you need for that down below so basically what you do now is you just place the the fabric inside this little plastic bit that comes with your um, with your pack of buttons and then you pop your button in and you can see there that that looks a little bit off center so I can readjust that by just popping the button back out making sure it's sitting in the center and then I just pop that button in there and then I fold over the fabric like so making sure it's nice and tight then I get either my flat back or the one that I've removed the um, the shank from and then using the little cap that comes with it we just push that in and you can see you don't even need the cap you can actually do that with your fingers okay it just makes it a little bit easier using the cap and put that down on a hard surface and you'll feel it pop in and then you just pop your button out make sure that it is actually going in that's all in place now then what we do is we just grab our magnet and where those two holes are we put a little bit of hot glue there and then we just pop our magnet down in the center 
and that's it so you can make as many as you want for, of those and you can use up all your little bits of scraps it's a really good way to um use up your scrap and it's a perfect little gift for some of your sewing friends so um or anybody in particular it's always nice to get some lovely handmade items like this okay so thank you very much for joining me today i really do hope that you enjoyed our little quickie tutorial on how to turn your self-covering buttons into little magnets it's a great quick project and you could do these with lots of different fabrics and fussy cut them and uh, you could do it with sewing notions fabrics or anything that's got a pretty little picture on it like this one and then you can have them as a set and give them to your sewing friends as a gift if you like this video today give us a thumbs up down below leave us a comment and tell us what you thought because we always love to hear from you and if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and that way you won't miss out on any future posts for those that don't know my name is Nicole Reed for Divinely Design Studio and I'll see you all again next time bye for now Thank you.